YouTube, my name is Michael and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my 2017 favorites video and I have a lot of favorites to talk about so let's just get right into it. So starting with movies, my favorite movie was obviously The Last Jedi. Um, I was probably way too excited when this came out and it also kind of had like a deeper feeling than the rest of the movies. I thought it was more meaningful as part of like the message it was trying to convey. What I really liked about this movie was the character development. And I don't want to spoil it for anyone, but if you haven't watched this movie yet, then I totally recommend it. My second favorite movie of the year was Wonder Woman. I think I saw this one in June, and it was so amazing. It was like the first woman superhero movie that we've ever had, and I thought it was really well done. The actress who played Diana did a fantastic job, and I just thought it was an overall really great movie. So coming in at number three for my favorite movies was Beauty and the Beast, and this movie was just an all-around great movie. I never really felt like there was any part where it got boring. It had a really great flow to it, and obviously they did a great job with all the music and the dance numbers and just the singing. They casted everyone so perfectly, which I thought really added to why the movie was so good. And then coming in at number four is The Greatest Showman, which I just saw this week. The cast included Zac Efron, Hugh Jackman, Zendaya, and they were all really fantastic as well. It has a lot of great messages in it, and I just left feeling so inspired, and just, it just makes you feel good. Moving on to the music section, the first album that I'm going to talk about is Reputation by Taylor Swift, which came out this November. This is definitely different than anything Taylor has ever done before. It is darker, and I wasn't really sure that I would like it at first, but when it came out, I listened to it, and I actually really liked it. The album really helps me to get in that writing mindset um, for the book that I'm working on right now. So that album has definitely been on repeat the last three months or so. Another album that I've really been enjoying is Evolve by Imagine Dragons. This is also one of those albums that I could just listen to straight through and not get tired of. My favorite song right now is obviously Thunder, but I also really like Whatever It Takes. As for my favorite musical this year, I've really been loving Anastasia and how it's like partly based off of history just really fascinates me. My favorite worship album of the year is definitely The Garden by Carrie Job. The songs and all the lyrics and just the messages behind it have really helped me out. And hearing from God and understanding some of the things that he's been teaching me in my own life. Okay, so now it's time to talk about books. And this year, I actually didn't get around to reading as many books as I wanted to because of college, but it's fine. This year I was really happy because I did finally finish the Harry Potter series. The last book, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, was definitely my favorite out of all of them. I really liked how everything in the past books had just been building up to this really big epic ending, and it was definitely a lot more intense and fast paced than the other books I felt like, which I really enjoyed. So my favorite new release of the year was Carve the Mark by Veronica Roth. I think this also came out last January, and the second one, I can't remember what the second book is called, but I think that is coming out sometime towards the beginning of this year also. This book was just really surprising. I'm really excited to see where the author is going to take the series. third book that I really like this year as far as fictional books go is King's Cage by Victoria Aveyard. And this is the third book in the Red Queen series, which is a fantasy slash dystopian series that is set in the future. I recommended this series a lot on my channel. If you're into anything futuristic or sci-fi, or you were a fan of The Hunger Games, then definitely check this series out. So moving on to nonfiction books, my favorite nonfiction book that I read was Uninvited by Lisa Turkhurst. It's something that I could probably read again just because there's so much good information in it, and it really was a big encouragement to me this year, so I would also recommend it to any of you guys wanting to pick up a Christian book or go a little bit deeper in your faith. Another one I also really enjoyed was Live Love Lead by Brian Houston, who is the pastor of Hillsong Church in Sydney, Australia. This book talks a lot about just trusting God and stepping out in faith and taking risks. If you're at an uncertain place in your life right now or just kind of struggling with trusting God or on the brink of stepping out into something new, then I think you would really find this book helpful because I know I did. That is all the favorites I'm going to be talking about today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and hopefully you've got some book or movie or music recommendations that you hadn't thought about before. If you like this video, give it a like and also hit that subscribe button. If you want to follow me on social media, I am Michael underscore Faith on Twitter and at Michael Faith on Instagram. See you guys soon with another video.